Hey oh, what is up everybody? I've got quite a special video here showcasing the true power, the true potential of the best bike in the game, the Alpaca. I would honestly say that this is uh the most gimmicky, the most fun bike I have ever used in any trials game. And if if people, you know, people ask me in the chat, "Hey, so would you rather get uh, a bike, a DLC bike, or a track pack? I'd pick this bike over everything one million times over. This bike has so much replayability. It is so much fun to use. And it is capable of doing these types of ninja levels that uh, I, I don't expect Red Lynx was anticipating. But, you know, here we are. And I got to give a big shout out to Novastar for having clips and people in my chat sending me clips of, of how he did some of these checkpoints, especially this one right here. Checkpoint 3 was just stupidly hard, along with checkpoint 5 coming up. But basically, what I have to do here is I have to land on it. I got to drag my front wheel across it while I'm leaned back and get a massive jump that is uh, more than RNG heavy. So this next one, CP5, you got to build up enough momentum. You got to basically kick yourself off of this wall behind you and build up speed, enough momentum to jump over this bomb. And I'm not I'm not kidding you. I think this is like a pixel perfect jump to to really get over this bomb. It is so tight. But like you barely land on the corner and you can get over. And I only hit that thing like maybe 3 or 4 times out of hundreds of attempts of it. So that was probably one of the hardest moves along with uh Later on, I think Yellow Belt has one of the hardest checkpoints, and then the last CP on Orange Belt's insane as well. That sixth checkpoint, not too big of an issue. I actually timed out on it once, once I finally hit that fifth checkpoint. But the, the sixth one, you, ha you have to build up speed, and you got to land basically front wheel only. And that's the case for a lot of these checkpoints that you have to hit these, these tall jumps, is you land front wheel first. You kind of let the bike do its thing. You just drag your front wheel on it only. And then you do this tiny hop. Sounds easy peasy, right? Well, think again, because it is one of the biggest pains in the ass. Anyways, moving on to the next one. Yellow belt. This actually wasn't that bad, believe it or not. Once I finally understood like how to get the physics down and how to get enough momentum, like what I'm doing here is like I'll, I'll go up into an endo and then... I'll start it off with like a little front wheel bunny hop basically to build up enough speed to get stuff. The hardest parts, I think it was just one really tough part on yellow belt. And I think that was CP7. And to talk about like why I even did this challenge or all these these challenges basically is I added some channel points onto my Twitch page. And basically what the channel points are is like you get to accrue these points over time when you're in the stream, when you're talking, when you're uh, active in the chat, basically. And I added my own channel points. So usually you get points for unlocking a emote for a day, um, unlocking uh, the option to like modify an emote for a day, stuff like that. But I added my own twist onto some and people really enjoy them. So I've got one where you can pick, you know, make me play alpaca on a level that's kind of reasonable. You know, that's up for interpretation, of course. But I think a lot of level one and two ninjas are are definitely could be viable with this bike. You know, I added more stuff like I'll wear a donut hat. I'll wear that donut floaty that's always chilling out in the background. Uh, just, just silly, goofy stuff like that. But back to this run. So CP7, this was incredibly hard. This was also one of the hardest moves I have done yet on the alpaca. And what you have to do, you have to set yourself way in the back of that log piece. And here... Uh, the donut was so angry at me that uh, it ended up attacking me. It was it was that frustrated with my performance right there. But you have to set yourself up front wheel only and get 
a it's kind of a stationary hop on the front wheel and and once you get it set up right the timing of this and be able to hook that front wheel onto that final ramp it is very very hard and again I don't think I'd be able to do that if I didn't see that clip of Nova doing it. You have spared my sanity and my fingers. So again, thank you, Nova. You are an inspiration. You're a legend. And I salute you for it. The rest of this track actually goes along pretty normally. Uh, I thought I would have trouble on not this checkpoint, but the next one. Turns out, not too bad at all. But I wanted to just throw out a question to some people. If you guys want to leave a comment or, or talk to me in my Twitch chat about it. But have you guys tried out the alpaca? And if so, what has been the hardest level that you have been able to pass with the alpaca? I think with this video, I want to create more content related to the alpaca. I think it's so much fun to use and hopefully to watch as well, see how I work through these checkpoints. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely trying to find more tracks that are actually possible, and it's really tough to find them. And I've just been kind of scanning through Ninja Central, hoping I can find a absolute banger of a track that's still challenging and possible. But on to the next one, Orange Belt. My God, this beginning is, I wasn't sure if it was possible at first. It was, it was so obnoxious to be able to, uh, basically front wheel hook these logs and this move I had to use a lot. So I would have to build up enough momentum to make it so I would get up on my front wheel only. And this rock back technique, you have to use this move like if you're on the mantis you'd normally use this rock back move when your back wheel is stuck on like a 90 degree ledge and you got to bring up the front tire but this is it's basically the reverse of it and and you can get enough momentum to just shoot your your back wheel up in the air on somewhat flat surfaces so the best qualities about the alpaca bike is the use of overhangs and how OP this bike is when it comes to overhangs. Like if you, you don't even have to, to grip the very top of a ledge. If you hook it on the side, you are likely going to be able to bring yourself up from it. But going back to that rock back technique, so this is the actual use of it. Like when you're stuck on a 90 degree and you're trying to raise your front wheel back up. And the most challenging part of this checkpoint was trying to make this the jump across this gap and basically hitting it all in one. So I would go to the last set of wooden platforms. But obviously, I went a little too quick and I lost the grip on my front wheel and I fell backwards. That brings me to probably the weakest part of this bike and that is the back wheel throttle that it has. It has a tiny bit. It's got something there. You're actually able to do stationaries with it, um, but you can hardly climb with this bike with back wheel only. Currently, I'm working on green belts. I've been able to get to CP5 of green belt. I've been having a lot of trouble with uh, making uh, the really large gap jumps with it and I found a really funny technique of um, the DLC ninja rise of the dragon I was able to do the second checkpoint and and basically skip past it with uh, this really funny method where you squeeze underneath a platform I'll try to upload something to like either Facebook or reddit about that one because I thought it was hilarious I just I don't know if the rest of that track is really that possible one more thing that I wanted to talk about before the conclusion of this video was the FS19 competition. So that ended up doing extremely well. I'm so proud of this community and what we were able to do um, for this the last holiday season. 
we had, I believe it was 20 tracks in total that were qualified for the competition. Uh, we had four winners be crowned. We had over, or actually exactly, $600 raised for the winners of that competition. And even Red Links was chipping in and was going to be giving out prizes to those uh, people who placed very soon. So uh, to those who won, congrats again. I'm actually going to have a video showcasing the the winner's build maybe and, and a couple others that were um, that I wanted to highlight. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video or the stream. Peace.